Well, I, I can't read mine, so I'm not sure exactly what she's going to say, but the truth is that the majority of journalism professors, the vast majority, 90 plus percent in this country are liberals. The journalists they produce are liberal. Uh, they love going to the White House Correspondents' Dinner when it's a Democrat in office. Now that there's a Republican in office, they don't necessarily want to go to that dinner. Uh, we see questions being asked of Republican administrations that we don't see asked of Democrat administrations. The list goes on and on and on. And All so right. the evidence is clear that the press is certainly biased to the left, and there's a reason why Andrew Breitbart used to call it the Democratic media complex, because that's exactly what it is. So, uh, Marianne, uh, go ahead. Just state your case real quick, and then I'll get to the specific questions. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Are there some progressive reporters? Yes. Can you see it in their work? Sure. But is that true of all the media? No. And is it true that they're all carrying the Democrats' water? No. I say and 10 there are plenty to 1. of examples so 10 to 1 out there. An accurate there, figure? there are plenty. Have you done a survey? Have you done well, name check everybody? Uh, there are plenty fact, of reporters uh, out there, as a matter like of Julie fact. Pace of AP and Jonathan Carl of ABC, who are at the White House, yeah. who were very tough on Obama and very tough on Trump. Well, Chris Wallace was tough on Priebus yesterday. You asked Trump about Putin, and you made Fox fans unhappy. That's how it should be. No, Tough on everybody, unhappy. facts for everybody, and I think a lot of people are getting more of that than All the right, critics man. and others are suggest. Uh, you are a very media savvy person. Name the conservative presence on CBS News. Okay. Uh, Na name reporters? The conservative presence on CBS News. Name the conservative president's presence on NBC I News. I think Marianne, John Dickerson Marianne. is more conservative than you okay. portrayed him in the clip tonight. Maybe that's well. true, but he's certainly not a conservative presence. NBC News. Robert Costa does a terrific job as a Ro contributor from the Washington Robert Post. Robert Costa? Yeah. I don't even know who he is. But. He, he do, I do know who he is, and he's a good reporter. Yes, okay. that is true. He is right. very good. But he's not a conservative presence. He might be a good reporter. He's on an anchor. He, he, he's he's, sure. he's right. on all the time okay, as a he's contributor not, he's on not, all the programming. He's not a conservative on ABC News. Who's a conservative presence? John Carl. John Carl is a conservative, in your opinion? Yes. Okay. CNN. <laughs> who's a conservative presence? I don't have one for you there. MSNBC. Don't have Joe one Scarborough. for there. Okay. But, but, okay. So but I've named five yeah, of the major. Yeah, I've, Joe I've named five. Oh, stop. Five of the na of the uh, major <laughs> networks, okay, and, and you, to your credit, came up with a couple of names that are debatable, um, but no major major people, and I don't believe that Carl would oh, cop to wait, being a conservative. Um, Lester Holt all. is a registered Republican, but he's not a conservative presence, and nor should he be, nor should he be. He's an anchorman. Those networks, all five of them, don't have anybody there, okay. And that just makes my point. Now, if I asked you the same question about the New York Times and the Washington Post and the L.A. Times, you'd stammer and stutter, too? They're not there. No, but here— but So you, wait, wait. Be, you Bill asked here. me if I did a survey, okay. and I did. Mm -hmm. I studied okay. the operations of all of them. There's no conservative presence. None. The, the, the Wall Street Journal, Fox News, Rush Limbaugh right, are Wall number Street one Journal, in all their categories. In page, all their categories. They're editorial In all their page, categories, and you can't say they are left-wing publications. Right. Well, their editorial page objective is conservative, not their news pages, nor should they be. Number one, number one, number one. All right, ladies, thank you very much. We come right back.